today's video, we're going to be breaking down a beat from my beat tape, Falconia. I must have some like low level of autism that hasn't been diagnosed. Fuck me. For me personally, beats like this are just so much funner to make because you can just go OD on the effects and shit and you don't really have to worry about leaving space because no one's going to rap on it. Anyway, let's get into the breakdown. So we started off with a melody from a producer by the name of Kavila. For the intro, I grabbed a little sub bass and laid down a basic pattern, adding some rolls to it at the end of the notes. And I grabbed this little perk loop from an Error Beats and Ellis drum kit called Mirage and applied some pancake to that and set it to one bar. So every one bar, it goes from left to right. Also threw in some gunshots. Made those pan too. And I also grabbed a ghosty riser. And grabbed one of my own risers. And all together for the intro. Next, I laid down a super basic count snare pattern. And that's pretty much going throughout the entire beat. With my snare, however, I added a bit of sauce to it. So I laid down a normal draw count snare pattern, but every two bars, I placed a different note. And I made each of these notes pan left, then pan right, then pan left, then pan right. Next, I used the 808 from that Mirage drum kit. I chose this one because it was just very... Wow. <laughs> the fuck am I talking about? Here's the pattern I ended up laying down. Making sure that with the rolls, I just make them pan a bit just to add some dimension to the mix. Why do I always say add dimension to the mix? I don't know what that means. I also had that same perk loop going throughout. Just to stop it getting boring, I added some gunshots. One of my risers. And then at the end of the eight bar, drum fill. some room to breathe and just vary up the bop a bit. I got rid of the count snares, the snare, and also I delayed the 808 coming in here for the first couple bars and added more risers here and this little, but I added a little fruity delay to that. I set this to ping pong so it'll change from left to right. Part of the beat, I added some half time to the sample, just set that to one bar. And I chopped some holes into the perk loop. And also had the counter snare and snare removed for a couple bars as well. I did some effects like this storm sound and this echo. Then added another riser. For the next part of the beat, I added this perk loop. I have no idea where the fuck I got it from. It's just somehow on my hard drive. And I applied some uh, pancake to this as well. 
When you layer that over the perk loop, it gives like this cool kind of beatbox sound effect. Oh. Part of the beat, I just added that uh, sub back in, the exact same pattern from the intro. Got rid of the kick and eight away, and I made sure to uh, include these rises every few bars just to add some more tension. And I made each one pan to a different ear. the halftime come back on the melody then I put a little riser at the end here so that on the next track on Spotify it kind of rises into that Ooh, la, la. in terms of the mixing there's nothing too crazy going on for the 808 I used one of the presets from the era beats drum kit but I got rid of like more than half of what was on there and tweaked it a bit there's a fruity chorus on there an EQ another EQ and a limiter side chaining the kick to the 808 so every time the kick hits the 808 ducks down also made sure to side chain the kick to the sample as well so every time the kick hits both the 808 and the sample duck down and it just gives the effect that the kick is hitting way harder than it actually is. On my master, I had a bit of fresh air increasing the mid and high by about 30 just to make it sound a bit crunchier. Hairs with. And hairs without. It just sounds a bit muddier and weaker. Fresh. I also had some Ozone 9 on there. If I'm honest with you, I can't be bothered to sit through these settings, so I'll just click through these and you can copy them if you want to. There you go. And then just a soft clipper, set the default settings. So yeah, that's it for the beat breakdown. I know I usually cook up beats like live, but I was quite proud of how this beat came out, so I wanted to break it down for you guys. If you guys wanna hear more tracks from the tape, be sure to go into the link in the description and give it a listen. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, all that shit. If you found any value in the video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. If you don't wanna miss my next video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the little bell next to it. If you wanna hear my drum kits, link in description. If you wanna join the Discord community, link also in description. Now that you're done watching the video, if you wanna learn how to make nasty ethnic drill beats for Russ and Rondo, check out this video next. <laughs>